a webcam different enough where I had to make a video. Welcome back to the channel. So today I have a webcam here that's really different enough where I wanted to make a video on this because it really helps me in my daily workflow and I think it might help you. You know my channel, I like to find unique products that are not kind of the normal, I wouldn't just want to do a standard webcam any longer. I like to find these kind of unique products that do different jobs all together. And I think you're going to think this one's pretty good. Now this isn't a review also, this is going to just be a product showcase. I haven't had this long enough to go over quality over the next couple months and stuff. But I want to show you that these type of products exist out there and that's kind of what my channel is more about. So what do we have here? This is actually going to be called the Caesar, C-Z-U-R, it's spelled differently. It's called the Fancy S Pro Webcam. And again, it's not just really a webcam. In fact, I don't recommend using this as a webcam directly because I'll get into that in a second. It has so many other functions that I use it for that helps me with my workflow. And that's kind of what I want to concentrate in this video. I could do just normal specs and stuff and I'm going to kind of breeze through those. But then I'm going to get into at the end of the video why I think this is important for someone like me and what I get out of this and some of the key benefits of something like this. All right, just for starters, the shipping of this thing. It comes in this incredible box. I'll show you some close-ups. It's really, you know, really well engineered for a box. It's made out of like styrofoam. It would float in water and stuff, but it, it puts all the, the, the entire package together and it just sits in there really nicely. So overall, I give the packaging, just, just, just for starters, for all it's worth, a 10 out of 10. All right, for starters, the webcam itself, and I'll give you an example in a second. If you're gonna be using this only as a webcam, it's something that you probably wouldn't want to buy because it's more than a webcam and you could buy a lot less expensive webcam. But for a webcam, it's very similar to like kind of a MacBook. I have an M2 MacBook Air over here or I have an iMac and the webcams are going to be similar. At 1080p, it's saying it's about 60 frames per second and you really want to run it. So it says, you know, if you go to the website, it's kind of confusing. It says up to 4K and some other stuff. Now, I say that on 1080p you have to run this if you're going to be doing like what I'm talking to like on a normal webcam because of the fact that at that you get the frame rate that's good enough. If you go to 4K it stutters a lot. 4K is more for looking down at documents and static stuff. We'll get into that in a second. But overall it's going to be comparable to like your Macs you know, stuff but it's going to give you a lot more functions and features which is why you'd buy something like this. Now here we go. So here's an example, you can see it right on the screen now, of me um, just doing, using this. I use this with Photo Booth on my Mac. I plugged it in. It was plug and play. It worked perfectly right out of the box. And then Photo Booth picked it up. And this is 1080p footage. I was in kind of good lighting. So you need to light this pretty good. That's one thing. But here I was downstairs and you can see the quality of the webcam. It's, again, it's very similar to the Macs. And so you're not going to be getting, you know, something substantially better. But that's not why you buy this again. And we'll talk about that. Overall though, it says that this is also compatible with your favorites like Zoom, Skype, um, TikTok, Teams, things like that where you're going to be doing online video calls because it works plug and play just like a normal webcam to begin with before you start using all the other features. Oh yeah, and this also runs on a PC and a Mac just to keep that out there so you can run it on both platforms. Again, if you check the documentation, I'll have links to all this in the video description. You know, I'll have a link to their website and everything. You can get the full specs of this thing. It does say 4K, but again, I said it's more for documentation. So just keep that in mind that it's, it's you know, 1080p is what you really want to use this for if you're just going to be using it like me talking to you for just a general webcam straight out. All right, so if you look on the Amazon website right now, you can see it here. It's going to be $99. And it's, again, it's not that expensive, but it's a little bit more expensive than like some of the Logitech and stuff that are out there. So again, if, you're, if you have no other needs than just a webcam, and I'm going to get into what those are, you just probably want to buy the cheaper versions. But this thing brings a lot to the table for someone like me or someone like you or someone wants to document old stuff. And we're going to kind of talk about that. But before we do that, I just want to, the first big thing that's just sitting right in front of you, what's so different about this, it's the bendability, is that even a word, or the ergonomics, I don't know if that works, I don't know, you get the idea, look at this thing, so this is going to be kind of loud, I'll step back, but this thing goes up like that, see that, you can move it up and you can move it down, now over here this thing will move like this, it'll move like this, it'll move like that, it'll move, I mean you can basically move this thing in any direction, so for instance, if you're sitting and you want, first of all, if you need a webcam where maybe you, you know, maybe behind your computer is not the best way to film, you want to film that direction, you can get something like this, move it over like this, film that direction, have it at the right height, you can adjust it, and there you go, there's one use for it. But you can also do so much more with it. I mean, you can have any height you want, you can go like this, you can actually film like this, and then the camera can be pointed straight down, which we'll get into, see that? So you can film things on your desk, film documents, film everything that you want that way. And that's what makes this completely different, and, and, and we'll get, you know, I'll show you some really world world examples of this, but that's really what makes this different, is that you can actually move this in so many different directions, including including down, which is really, really cool because then you can get some shots that you didn't think you can get with a normal webcam. 
I mean, if you're thinking about it, like let's say you're teaching guitar or something, you can have this webcam kind of go like this, right at your guitar where your hands are, not your face. Or if you're painting or something, you can have it down like this. Those are some uses you can, you can kind of get the idea with. But again, you have to really do it in 1080p. You can do 4K, but the 4K is a little bit, you know, if you, you know, and I'll get into how you do that actually, because it doesn't really, it won't let you record from their software in 4K, but you can actually do it if I just do a screen, screen capture on the Mac, which I've done, but you have to be, the frame rate can be a little choppy if you do, you know, too much movement, unless it's the 1080p. All right, some things that are built into this camera is number one, it has a light on the front of it, and the light basically is over here, and it's got three different levels of light, so you can actually, if you're, it doesn't really put a lot of light on you if you're filming this way, but if you put something down and you're looking at a document or something, it will light up that document. On the back of it, it's really cool. So on the back of it, it's got this huge dial, and I'll show you close-ups as I'm talking about this. It's got a focus button, exposure of plus and minus, it's got, a, let me see here, it's got an, a switch for autofocus and single focus, so it can autofocus or single focus if you wanted to. It's got a focus just button in general, so it focuses on the subject. Again, these are more for documents and stuff like that. It's got a button for 180% rotation, um, rotation, so you can kind of flip the scene. It's also got a dial on it where you can flip it upright, like for TikTok videos and stuff. So it's got a lot of function in the back of it over here. It's also got some software built into it, which we'll get into, but overall you got a lot of the settings in the back. All right, the software I downloaded from the Apple Store, and I just put it in Caesar, C Z U R. I actually got the software, but they also have it on their website. I'm not even sure I got the right version of it. I'll show you some close ups of the software right here, and you can kind of see, you know, I'm not going to get into too much of that. I think you can actually download it, even if you don't have this camera, it's free, and you can like set it up with your other cam, you know, your other camera up here and just test it out to see if you like the software and stuff. But I would go to their website, and I'll have links to it as well, see if you can get the software from there. I got it from the App Store, but I think they might have an updated version maybe on their website. But that's not what this is all about. Um, the software is a software, and you guys can fool around with it, but I don't want to get too much into those weeds either. I want to kind of show you why I use it. All right, so how do I use it? So for me, if you can believe me, I'm a YouTube channel, right? So I use it for top-down shots a lot, and you can imagine, if I have a product down here and I have the video camera pointing down like I have right now, I can actually show things with my hands, and I'll show you some examples as I'm talking about it. But as a product showcase thing, it works really well. I mean, if you had to set up a kind of a cumbersome overhead rig every time you had to do it, it's bad, right? It takes a long time. Now, again, you're not going to get the same quality out of this as you would maybe a Sony camera like I'm filming with. But overall, it's very quick. It takes one second to set up. And then I can film things like a mice down here. I can all these different gadgets and stuff. I can film just, you know, you can see some examples as I'm talking about it. It's really cool. So you can get kind of close-up shots. Again, you got to make sure that it's set at the right settings. Now, I actually can film in 4K this way based on their software, but I actually then do a screen capture of it using my Mac software, my Mac screen capture. I don't even take, you can actually, in the software, you can you can um, click on two different buttons. You can take pictures, which are really cool if you want to take pictures down, or you can do video recordings. For some reason, on the software I was using, it wasn't letting me record in the 4K, only the 1080p, but I was able to put it in 4K, not record, but then I just recorded my screen, and I was able to get good footage that way. So you guys can fool around with that, and it's not what this is all about. Again, it's just showing you the products that I'm doing here. And also, like for things like this little hub here, you can get up there. This says like three inch macro or something, so you can get pretty close up on stuff like this. And uh, you can see like the, the little USB ports are like on a hub or something. It shows you up close. So if you want to get like weird product shots and stuff, that just throw into your videos and stuff on YouTube. Or if you just want to talk, you know, just train somebody maybe at work or something, it's a good option. Keep in mind though, you have to have things lighted correctly, and sometimes when you move in different objects, the lighting can change in, like different you know hues and stuff. So you got to have the lighting correctly. You may have to bring in additional lighting when you're doing the top-down stuff. It just makes it a lot easier. All right, another great use for this thing, besides just putting those in my YouTube channel, is just document scanning. So if you can imagine, like for things like manuals and stuff, you can take screenshots of this, and then you can save them for later. You can throw them away. Or if you want to get just one page out of a magazine or something, I'll show you some examples. Pretty cool. You can get that that capture right away, and then you don't have to save the whole magazine. Maybe there's a recipe in there or something. You just want to grab that. So that's great for this. I mean, really important documents as well. You can go ahead and put them all in front of this thing. You know, save them digitally, and then have another copy of them and put these somewhere very safe, obviously, but put, have a copy of them in case there's a fire or something. And I think that's really good. I mean, that's really a good reason for this. But even more so, I, I found like another use. I mean, I have a photo here. This is like from 1970s. Some old photos of babies and people you know, including myself and everything. 
these kind of pictures are really, you know, they can't replace them. So when you have pictures like this, I'll show you some close-ups. You can take, oh, let's just imagine that, but then having a whole bunch of photos in there. Maybe you put five or six all at once. You can just go ahead and keep filming, you know, and then move the photos in and out. Have this huge kind of video of all your photos. So if anything was ever to happen to this, you can go back and crop them out and then reprint them through some company like, you know, Snapfish or something. So overall, I think it's just for, for documenting or putting these old photos in, it's just a great use for 99 bucks. I mean, it's totally worth it. I mean, for eBay too, this is a great product thing for eBay. If you were selling, let's say, a mouse, like I said, or something like that, you could go ahead and take pictures of this, put it on eBay. And again, the software has a photo functionality where you hit a button and it just takes a snapshot in, in 4K, you know, high resolution photo. Pretty good, I mean, considering what it does. And overall, it's just perfect for those kind of, you know, tasks. And there's a million other things if you can think about it. For instance, like I said earlier, let's say you're a teacher and you want to go ahead and have a document sitting here. And you want it to go through up to like a, you know, a big TV or something. You could be going through documents with your class this way, having them up on the screen, and it works just as well. Instead of having a whole top-down rig, this just is super easy. You can get it set up in like five minutes. And all of a sudden, you have anything that you have here can be up on a big screen for your class. Um, if you teach anything like that, if you do, you know, if let's say you want to do a cooking, you know, cooking thing or something, you can have your pots and pans down here, but while you're talking over here, it, it allows you to do picture in picture as well in the software. So you can have kind of two different cameras going at once. So overall, you could, you know, it's just endless the possibilities if you think about it, where you can have this thing, you know, looking down or looking up or, you know, all over the place. And it just helps you kind of showcase and really show things in your hands and stuff versus having to do a whole top down rig that can get really expensive. All right, so at the end of the day, do I think that's 99 bucks is worth it? I say yes. I mean, is the, is, if it was just a camera, I would say no. The camera quality is okay. I mean, for like doing things like if you're going to be just doing talking on video, it's perfectly fine. I mean, it's not going to be the highest, not going to be the lowest. If you're doing video calls, it's totally fine for in a crunch, right? Not a big deal. But overall, it's just for documenting old photos and doing like the things, like I said, product showcasing with your hands or doing YouTube channels. It's really just you know, inval I mean, it's super valuable because the fact is, is you can set it up in two seconds. You don't have to spend all your time setting up an overhead rig. And, uh, you know, you can save documents and important things, magazines and coupons and whatever you want to do instantly. And it's just super easy to use, very intuitive. And even if you don't use their software, if you just plug it into the Mac, you can still use it and just take screenshots as you want. And you can avoid all their software, just use the back controls. But if you want to use their software, it makes it a lot better. I just like using this thing because I always find new ideas for it, like maybe doing coins or you know putting coins on there and just documenting your coin collection. There's a million different uses for this thing. In fact, in the comments, let me know how you would use this. If you're not a YouTuber where you do products and stuff or an eBay or something like that, how would you use this thing? Document scanning, photos, but can you think of anything else? I mean, definitely there's some good ideas out there you can go through. Um, but I think it's just overall worth it. I mean, just the ergonomics of it, would it be worth 99 bucks? You know, the camera, the camera again, is, is maybe the quality of a MacBook, it's not gonna be the highest or the lowest, it gets the job done but when you get up close and stuff it seems to be clearer than when it you know obviously when you're just doing normal stuff and for like close-ups it's definitely sufficient to document stuff and, and on YouTube so I can't complain for the money I think just the functionality of it and all the different things built into it including the software totally make it worth 99 bucks again I'm only doing a product showcase I don't do full reviews you guys can go in and look at all the links I'll have all links to all this stuff in the video description um, you know if you guys want to look at all the specs and all the weeds and get into all that stuff it's you know you got to you know light this correctly you know there's a lot of things you got to deal with but overall I still think it's worth the money when you get into all those kind of weeds and stuff and uh, you know with the product showcase I haven't had it long enough to give a full review but I hope you guys like these kind of videos and I'll talk to you in my next one in a couple of days this is again is the Caesar, C-Z-U-R, what is it called? It's the Fancy Pro S or something. You guys can look it up in the description and I'll talk to you in a couple days. Peace.